Right, so uh, video about the Matrix. Um, a lot of people have been asking about this, so I'm doing a video of it. Um, not sure where to start really. Obviously this is the Matrix. At the moment you can see it's set so that... Oh, well maybe you can't see, hang on. Right, I've got a torch here to make it easier for the camera. So, you can see that... Oh. Yeah, on audio, outputs 2 and 3 are patched from input 1. So, basically what that means is, input 1, which is my room, um, so there's, a, there's an output from my room coming down into this um, and then this is putting it out to outputs 2 and 3. Output 2 is the kitchen and output 3 is the basement. Um, the way it's wired in at the moment is temporary because I don't have any proper audio cable so I'm using a VGA cable that I had which didn't have any connectors on the end. Um, and inside the VGA cable you have three cores that are like this which are actually pretty similar to audio cable you've got the core in the middle and then a the shield around it um, now because you've only got three cores like that and I needed four to have stereo going both ways um, it's only a mono setup at the moment so only the left channel or it might be the right channel but only one of the channels from uh, from the amp gets transmitted to here or gets transmitted back. Um, that's not going to be like that forever, but that's what it's like at the moment. Um, let's just get that torch again. So the back, there you can see there the outputs, there the inputs. So pretty simple. Um, Basically, if I take you upstairs, I'll show you how it works. Room's a bit of a mess, I'm afraid. Uh, right, let's just pause this. So, from the, uh, the other end of the VGA cable here, we've got two audio cables coming out one red and one white um, if I just pull this amp forward a bit so the red one there should have brought the torch up with me oh I've actually got one up here so that red cable there is connected to the tape out of the amp uh, now, for anyone who doesn't know what the tape out is, it's basically, so this is an integrated amplifier, so it's got selections, it's got four inputs on the back, it's got aux, I'll get that into focus, it's got aux, video, CD and tuner. So aux is connected to this jack here, which is connected to this laptop which I use for media like YouTube so that cable goes into the amp and when this is selected to aux um, then from that switch it goes into the amplifier part where you've got your volume control, your balance control, your bass and treble but as well as going into the amplifier part it also gets patched straight through to the tape output so whatever input I've got selected here will also be going out of the tape output. So say I had a laptop connected to aux, CD player connected to CD and a radio connected to tuner. If I was listening to the laptop and it was on aux and someone in the kitchen wanted to listen to the laptop or what I was listening to in here, they'd take the feed from this room and it'd, it'd be that basically. Um, and then the other lead, the white one, just goes into another input of the amp. So that's that's on the video input there. So when I'm listening local to stuff from that jack, 
this switch has got to be on aux which is uh, auxiliary and when I want to listen to music from another room like the kitchen or the basement I'd switch it to video but at the moment I want to listen in this room to local music which is just a, a YouTube video in this case hope I don't get copyrighted for this but I'm going to play that I'm also going to turn it up I'm going to go downstairs right so there you saw as I came down here the uh, kitchen was playing the same audio um, I just turned those off so when it's zero that means it's off it's not coming from anywhere um, say I only wanted the basement to play music from my room what I'd do is I'd press output 3 which is the basement then input 1 which is my room And then you've got it playing in the basement, so uh, turn that off. So it's it's pretty much as easy as that. Kitchen, you put so you what you do is you press the output first. So output two, and then the input you want it to come from. So kitchen coming from Luke's room. Simple as that. Um, and you can put one input to more than one output, so basement coming from my room and kitchen coming from my room as well so then I've got three rooms just turn that off again so then I've got three rooms that are playing the same audio feed and they're also exactly in sync as well because it's all it all stays analog it's not digitised anywhere, apart from in here, but you don't notice that at all. Um, yeah, so that's that basically. Pretty, uh, pretty sweet. I just need to um, get some proper audio cable. Also, this can be controlled by RS232. Um, so, one of the things I've asked for for my birthday is a Raspberry Pi and my birthday is this Tuesday December the 4th so when I get the Raspberry Pi I'm going to design a web interface so this can be controlled from a web browser within the network so that can be hidden away up in the top of that cupboard and it can be controlled from computers um, also an, an idea that I've got is to have in each room just a box um, on top of the amp that controls that so you could put to the box give me a feed from room one or room two or whatever and it would supply that for you but uh, yeah so um, I think I've covered everything I'm probably going to upload this video, video and realize there's a lot of things I've not covered uh, but I'll probably make another video about this at some point in the future um, also feel free to request videos about this like if there's nothing I've covered or stuff I've not been too detailed about then uh, let me know in the comments and I'll do a video when I've got time but uh, yeah thank you for watching